there's a double lunar wave or ripple in space and time that I like to say. Nobody knows what it is. And it's never been concluded. And I'll tell you what, it could be a force field too. It could be moon quakes that are causing this, a ripple in the clear oceans between Earth and the moon. Where do you think we get all the water from? <laughs> Like when you put an image inside of a crystal ball and the small object or image becomes clear, it becomes three-dimensional, it expands, right? Why does, why does that happen? Just like we're seeing this ripple go by the moon, when you see it go over the craters, it elevates the craters. It's literally like a television set that you're looking at, right? Like a digital static going by on the screen. But it's not on the screen. It's literally between Earth and the moon, that's for sure. Is it over just the moon's atmosphere? Or is that something, some um, wave or from some big explosion of a neutron star, two neutron stars colliding, or a black hole sucking up a galaxy? Think of the energy that's exerted and going outwards. Often they say in science theory, right, Kai? You know, uh, the ripple. You drop in a quiet pool a river a stone and then the ripple goes outwards perfectly growing as a perfect circle until it hits other frequencies uh, you know densities other uh, obstructions and then you have the repercussions where everything bounces back and just waves around space is like that so it's honestly for me to me not surprising to see these uh, waves I was able to show you UFOs coming down from the sky and some even leaving. These are leaving from the ground. They're slow. They're not the same speed as satellites. And you'll see here it will even slow down more as it's crossing in front of my path to an almost complete stop just above the wires. Very bright, illuminating in my infrared camera like something incredible it's even causing sparks of light that you see going the other way there that means the object is so bright thus proving that it's pr probably pretty close to me and as you can see they're all directions not satellites i'm deliberately showing you the characteristics of it and watch the small aircraft come by every time these objects are in the sky near the saint lawrence these craft small craft are observing them I recently showed these hundreds of UFOs in the atmosphere. Very concerning that people aren't very interested. We got some people on Twitter that stopped by. Thank you for stopping by, subscribing, and for your interest to the channel. But this is serious stuff. And people are not getting the chance to see this. And everyone should before I'm taken down. It's my only suggestion. For me, it's important that people know that there's people up there on the moon and interacting with the atmosphere. And hey, they could be interacting with the people up there. The people up there could be in harm's way. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe they're being saved. Maybe there's wars there. You know, as on Earth, similar things can happen on the moon. But I'm trying to get this research out. I'm making as many interesting videos as I can, trying not to make them long for nothing, trying to be to the point. If you're interested in these videos and want to see more videos like this, please keep coming back to the channel. A lot of people specialize in certain fields. Well, right now I'm showing UFOs, structures, and even what looks like a war. Biological living creatures in the atmospheres and thick, dense clouds and atmosphere of the moon. People are having a hard time accepting that one. Well, they're going to have to realize that it's, re it's reality. And that's what we're looking at. And whatever they told us that the moon was, it most likely wasn't. Doesn't mean that I'm right and everyone else is wrong, right? But I am able to show you objects and events that the government says does not even exist, like this UFO propelling itself. See, again, that black dot with the light behind it, where at the beginning of the video, I told you there's a UFO parked on the surface, and you're like, come on, Bruce, a UFO on the surface. Well, you're seeing the object right there. And how come they're hiding? Well, it's easy. You bring down the exposure, and you can see the smoke trails. You can see the lights and events happening, and you can see that there's objects underneath these craft in the lunar atmosphere and or haze and that is a very scary thing right ufos traveling 
at fast, high rates of speed across the surface in the middle of the afternoon that nobody is detecting. The keeping secret. I have a lot to show. I'm not going to force anyone because it's just there for people that are interested. Maybe you're not interested in finding out who's up on the moon. Maybe you don't want to know anyone's up on the moon. Maybe it, it scares you, right? But what I'm showing you here is not a human being, and it's not the type of alien maybe people think. It's a biological living creature, whether it's bioluminescent or not, whether you want to call it a jellyfish, whether it is or not a jellyfish, because I've shown some before. The moon jellies, first place you've seen it, was here. Love you, Jeremy. I hope he shares my work. Maybe one day I will meet Jeremy Corbell. I, I actually believe that it could happen. He's open-minded enough. He's looking for truth, obviously, if he's a real guy, and I'm sure he is. He might be interested. It's up to me to send my things out. You guys can all send these links to him also. I would suggest it. So this is Copernicus Crater. Yeah, again, Copernicus Crater. Still there. More events happening. And that is a lit object, a lit UFO coming out of the crater's edge, just on the edge of Copernicus Crater. Strong magnification zoom. What's the size of that object, Bruce, we're looking at right now? It is a mile to two miles wide. That's what we're looking at. So the whole crater is way bigger than that. And we're just looking at these smaller objects. These two, a mile wide. UFO fleet flying by the surface of the moon. You guys want to see more videos like this? Please subscribe and keep supporting the channel. Names missing on this video, but Paul Sabo and Pat Crossar, thanks for gifting out the memberships to help this channel grow. Uh, aliens on the moon, when are they going to tell the world? Come on, Pentagon. Thank you very much for the support to this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter because the slow just coming soon. The slow just coming soon.